All right, y'all forgive me. I'm back. I'm back. Cam. Cam is in the building. I'm about to get us tapped in right now. My guy, Killer Killer. What's up, everybody, for joining? Joining a little late today. Got some family business. Cam, what up, boss? What's good, coach? What's good? You know, I'm here. I'm just living the dream, I guess. We're living in the dream. <laughs> definitely, <laughs> definitely. I don't know which one it is. I'm coming in right now. I'm uh I'm just pinning your info up here so everybody know. They should know who we're talking to. DJ, what's up, DJ? I want to see me DJ too. I need you too, DJ. I need you too. But I got my guy. I got my first player. And I had y'all should have known that I was going with Killer for my first player interview. Uh, if y'all didn't know that, y'all was tripping. <laughs> <laughs> if y'all right, didn't, right, right, right. You know what I'm saying, Cam? They was tripping. If they should have knew that already. Oh yeah, definitely. You know, should have already known fact. Yeah, my first player interview was gonna be Cam. I, I had some good guys up here, but my first player interview had to be you. I'm trying to pin right. your name there too. All right. Is your uh, Instagram is just Cam Cam underscore Thomas? Yeah, Cam dot underscore underscore. All right, Cam. Yeah. Okay. Maybe put on two underscores. Yeah. And then Thomas, right? Yeah. All right, got it, got it, got it. I got y'all tap in. But before we even get started, I got some. I got something else I'm about to do too. It's the first time since I started doing my IG lives with Coach B. I got some. Uh, I got uh, Cam was the first dude that got our uh, theme music. I'm about, to, <laughs> I'm about to show y'all what it is. I'm oh man, theme music real quick. I got to do it big. You know what I'm saying? Coach Jones was with me last year. I mean, last week from Norfolk State. He was a big one, too. Oh, work? Yeah, I had Coach Jones up here. Uh, let, me see. Uh, let me see. You know what song I'm looking for, if y'all don't know already. <laughs> they should know that, too. And I'm, I'm going to bring it. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to let some more people tap in. What's up, y'all? Caleb Brown, I see you, too, young fella. And that's a uh, a young baller from from the town too, Cam. Let me get you to check him out. All right. He playing with the ninth grade mob this year. You know, you don't know nothing about not playing ninth grade. Uh -uh. <clears throat> All right, so the first person ever with a uh, theme music. I don't know if y'all can hear. It. I don't know if y'all can hear the theme music. ID don't shut me down. I got to bring, bring it back, bring it back, like I'm a DJ. <laughs> one more time for the people in case they ain't here. Clap. Clap. <laughs> you know? That's fire. No, they, no, they like had one of that on one of my videos on Twitter. Word. I put it on the uh, the commitment video when we did the commitment, uh, when I had my guy do the commitment joint for me. When I posted it, I did that. But Ken, what's up, boss? How you doing? I'm doing good. What's popping? You know, same old thing, man. I just had some family stuff going on. I was at the sportsplex all day. Today was the girls was getting their gear and stuff, so it was a whole lot of. Oh uh, yeah, I seen something like that. Twitter. Oh yeah, girls stuff is fire this year. They yeah, got, they they slides is fire. I was like, yeah, I need. I ain't gonna tell people gonna be sick when the boys stuff come out. <laughs> they, they did it this year. They went with Kobe this year. They gave us Kobe's this year. Or, yeah. Oh yeah, I need a pair. I need you, you know who you know what you need to do. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. I need a pair. Man, they gonna be so fire. They they fire. Like I seen a picture. I haven't gotten them back yet, but mm. I I seen a picture of them, and I think they might be in if they not in. If they not in yet, they should be in real soon. All right. We're gonna jump right into it. Cam Thomas, my God. Uh, we're gonna start at the beginning. Oak Hill All Time Leader School. No, I ain't gonna go to that. I am gonna go to that. Oak Hill All Time Leader School. <laughs> Yeah. In year in uh in the seven five seven, twenty four points a game. Freshman year, my friend coaching you. Freshman uh -huh. year at EYBL, sixteen U scoring leader. I only I don't think people knew that though, but I already uh -huh. knew you could do that on seventeens. But sixteen U, you led the EYBL Peace Jam and scoring with twenty eight points a game. Freshman year at Oscar Smith, twenty four points a game. 
Mm -hmm. Oak Hill Academy, go for 30. Was your, was that, was that 30 your, um, your junior year? Or 20, high 20s? No, I was uh, 26. But that's what, that's uh, 26 points a game with Cole Anthony and uh, Kofi on the team. That's yeah. A, that's doing a lot. Uh, Oak Hill this year, about 31 points a game. Mm hmm 34 games. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right. When you, when you, I know you're used to it now, and I know you and all that, but mm -hmm. when, you, uh, when you hear all that stuff, like, right, you know, when people start talking to you, because, you you know, people want to get at you with interviews and all that type of stuff. Like, how, do, how does that joint make you feel? Like, when you hear, like, Oak Hills leading the score, Peach Jam, you know what I'm saying? Nobody averaged that much. Nobody averaged 30 at Peach Jam besides, uh, What's my boy name? Don't tell me. Uh, damn, damn, damn. He played for the Knicks. He kind of remind me of you. Um, oh, I know you're talking about. Damn, somebody tap in and tell me who it is. Oh, man. God damn. Where's Mac at? Mac would know. What, Trey? Yes. Alonzo. Trey. What's in there? Derek oh, that? in here. <laughs> yeah. So, I think the only other person in the EYBL that average 30 was uh, – was Alonzo Trier. He got big buckets. Like two. Yeah, yeah. I heard. I heard yeah. Witness that joint. So he got big buckets. And I think you know only other person that average thirty, like a, a solid thirty ball for the whole season. So when you hear all those accolades thrown at you about you or whatever, whatever, like I said, uh you already, you know, you hear it a lot. How how does it make you feel kinda? Uh, it made me feel good. I mean you know, because me just coming from Chesapeake, Virginia, I, I ain't expect to do none of that stuff. Like, mm -hmm. become like all time leading score, old kill. I would have, that, that, like, that thought never came in my head. So right. Me just like, so me just going up there, be able to play a lot as a junior, because a lot of people was like, I'm not even going to play a lot as a junior. Mm -hmm. So I was like, that's crazy. That was crazy anyway to think that. Yo, but, funny. But, for, but like, for me to score that many points with like, you know, like, like, like you said, with Cole, Kofi, Christian, mm -hmm. all them players, like all them seniors. I mean, mm -hmm. just shows my hard work paid off. Yeah, no question. Yo, I remember I was telling somebody the other day, like, when we went up on a visit, you know what I mean? And, uh, mm -hmm. you, you know, you just went on a workout on your own. Like, you, yeah. you know what I'm saying? They didn't ask you to work out or nothing. You just saw the ball in the gym and just started working out. I think at that time, uh, I was talking to uh, Coach Smith, and he was like, his mouth was just, like, dropping to the floor. Like, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you know mm -hmm. And we always like really watching you, you know what I mean? <laughs> like so, mm -hmm. didn't miss a shot, and I think that kind of jammed them up. Mm -hmm. From my perspective, I think when we went to Oak Hill, I didn't think people thought you were as as good as you were. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yes. Yeah, you know what I'm saying like I think they did, they thought you was gonna come in and be good, but I didn't think they they thought you was gonna be the guy. No, and definitely. The guy, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Because me and my mom, me and my mom talk about it. She was like. You know, how at first they didn't think I was going to come in and, you know, have all those 30-point games, average 26. And then and then for my senior year, average 30, they didn't expect that. But when, like, uh, they see me in practice competing with Cole, going at Cole, and that's what mm -hmm. changed their mind. So, we ain't, yeah. we ain't even going to go – we're going to skip that part a little bit, but we ain't going to go into how you didn't even play, you know what I'm saying, your sophomore year. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you and your mom made a decision. Mm-hmm. You know, like, after we're going to sit the year out or whatever, whatever. Yeah. I tell people all the time, like, people ask me about that, and I'm like, yo, his path is different. Like, you know, I wouldn't tell nobody to do that. And I tell people, mm -hmm. like, you wanted to play that year. It ain't like you you, you started the school year off and was like, boom, I don't want to play basketball. <laughs> you know yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think even during the school year, you were – uh you were still looking to get, you know, possibly to leave and go get somewhere or whatever to play ball that year. Two people don't know that. It's just, you know, because you don't put all your business in, the, you know, in uh, on social media. But mm -hmm. even that year, as a sophomore, you still were trying to play ball and, you know, go somewhere and, sh and play ball. People just don't know that. But I tell uh -huh. people, like, something that I would I would uh, tell anyone else to do, you know what I mean? Because I don't think yeah. – like, When you didn't play, like, you probably worked harder than people that, when they were practicing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because, I mean, during that year, I did a lot. Like, right after school, I'll go and get some weight training. Weight training on one day, then I'll go. Like, and then on the next day, I'll go get some shots up, get some training. Like, and then, you know, just, you know, I just work out every day because, you know, I'm not playing. Mm -hmm. So I got to, like, work extra harder than the people that is playing. 
<laughs> so and like so for me for not to play a whole year mm -hmm. of like high school and then going to EYBL as a sophomore, uh, playing seventeen is the average. But I was twenty, twenty on the dot. I mean, yeah. that was big. So mm -hmm. yeah. And you probably could have did a little bit more. That year was kind of like a time. Yeah, that year it was hectic. Not <laughs> <laughs> for the program that year. Mm -hmm. And to be honest with you, like the way it was going that season, I was just like, I was just happy y'all stuck around. Yeah. It weathered the storm, to be honest with you, dog. Mm -hmm. right? Like me and Chess had a lot of conversations about it. You know what I'm saying? It was a toxic year that year. We had a lot of moving parts, a lot of yeah. stuff behind the scenes a lot of just a lot of craziness that happens in AAU that people don't know about but yeah that you stuck it out you know what I'm saying and, and it toughed it out because I think you still went to is that the did you go to the MBPA camp that year is that the same year no that was uh this past year junior year <laughs> the junior year okay yeah still was fine though uh you went to Nike Tom 100 that year mm -hmm. yeah yeah that was St. Louis that year yeah so that was a different type of year so I'm gonna backtrack a little bit, a little bit. So when I first got whiff of you, right? So mm -hmm. people were telling me about a kid that's from Chesapeake. You know what I'm saying? He was playing middle school ball for Oscar Smith Middle. Right. You know, this is when I was trying to get Boo to get more involved with the middle school situations. Anyway, mm -hmm. there was a kid over at Oscar Smith that's going for thirty and three quarters. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> so you know what I'm saying? We end up coming to a game or whatever. Mm -hmm. Damn, he really did. He had like 35 in the quarter. I didn't even know you and Leslie at all then. You or your mother. Yeah. I just peeked in to see what was going on. Uh -huh. And he really got 30 and, and, and he's not playing no more. I'm like, damn, I'm about to get out of here now. Uh -huh. You know, game was super packed. You know what I'm saying? So then me and Chad started talking. And you was going into, uh, I think you ended up playing with Donald. He was coaching a great team. Yeah, played with Donald that year. Mm -hmm. that, that team was good, but it was weird. It just, I don't think it was organized that well. Uh -uh. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But then you came back as a freshman and played 16s with us. Yeah. Uh, with Chiz. And then I knew, because Chiz has been doing this for a long time, so I was like, boom. I think he went to, like, yo, like, 80 of your games. You know? mm -hmm. And then me and him met at a couple of the games, and we was like, oh, yeah, no, nah, he for real, for real. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? I just had to see it with my own eyes. Right. Middle school, cause I know middle school ball. If you're if you're the best player on the middle school floor, like you're gonna super dominate. It's gonna be really yeah. bad. You know what I'm saying? So once I saw you doing on the high school level, you know what I'm saying? I Oscar Smith. Then I saw you against uh, Trinity. You had like 20. No, you had 38 against Trinity, and yeah. they were like team in the state. I think Jay Wade and those boys, Jay Wade and Armando. Yeah. And, uh, somebody else was on that team. I think Henry Coleman was still on that team. That's Duke. Carolina and ODU was all on that team, and you still gave them like what thirty eight. Mm -hmm. You know, you know. I think you put a lot of people on notice. I was like, I was in the uh, stands and stuff, talking to your moms, and I'm like, damn, this mad AAU programs in here. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? It's down here from uh, from Durant, Thrill. And I'm like, I'm calling Chiz. I'm like, oh nah, dog. Like, we got to seal the deal. Like, I don't know what we got to do to talk when we talk to Leslie, but we got to mm -hmm. seal because it's for real. I think by then you might have already been. Um, pretty much was almost in the mix with us. It just wasn't all the way completed yet, but we yeah. put it together by then. So people just were still trying their hand. But that mm. season was a blur. I think, who put y'all out? Did Landstown put y'all out the playoffs? That, yeah. Landstown did. Put y'all out that year. So that was that still was a great year, though, as a freshman, 24 night in the area. I don't think, I'm trying to think, the last freshman that scored that much out here uh, per game might have been. No, I mean, no, nah, I can't even think of who might who that might have been, but uh, that was weird, you know what I'm saying. And then mm -hmm. uh, listening to Steve Smith um, last year, this past uh, season on Twitter, and then I talk, I just talked to Boo about you yesterday because I told him we was doing this. Uh -huh. and, uh, Steve Smith, you know, put on Twitter that he thought you was the like the best scoring bucket, you know what I'm saying? That he coached at Oak Hill, you know. Yeah. And that's wow, you know. <laughs> When I retweeted it, I was like, damn, Steve Smith does coach. He he done coached 33 McDonald's. Mm -hmm. the most pros on any high school coach in America. Right. You know? and, and then Boo, just yesterday, this is no lie here in the guy, no lie. Because you've seen Steve Smith say that. But Boo was like, uh, yesterday, man, was talking about you. And uh, we are talking about scores. We are talking about some kids in the area or whatever, whatever. And he was yeah. just how uh, Cam – He's like, Cam is the best score that I had since. Uh, oh, that's Coach Smith tapped in right now. What's up, Coach? Oh, okay. <laughs> What's up, Coach? I What's good, Coach? I miss you, Coach. 
Man, <laughs> I wish we could have finished out the last tournament in New oh, York. Yeah. We was going, I'm going to tap into that, too. So mm-hmm. when Coach Smith saw it, said that on Twitter, it kind of jammed me up. I was like, that's, that's amazing. So then I was talking to Boo yesterday and today, and he was like, we were talking about kids, and he was like, Cam is the best score that he ever coached since Allen Iverson. Mm-hmm. And I was like, what? <laughs> I was right. Like, you know what I'm saying? I've been around for a long time or whatever, mm-hmm. but I, the way he said that, it was like no hesitation. You know what I'm saying? He looked at me like with a straight, super straight face. Yeah, and, I know. <laughs> I know that look you talking about. And he was like, yo, I'm, he, it's, it's the truth. Like, he puts you in the same realm with, with Chuck. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Anybody knows me. I say this on every one of these that I do. Like, I don't know. Chuck, you know, he's from my town. I, you know, yeah. he's my guy guy. You know what I'm saying? Like, Kobe's your guy. And, like, MJ's your mm-hmm. guy. But Chuck is from down the street from me. You know what I'm saying? We we grew up together, kind of. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, it's my friend. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm like, yeah, got you. anybody in front of that. But I'm like, from a kid, a uh, perspective of coaching a kid, mm-hmm. it's, not, it's like, nobody else can do what you do the footwork that you have and all that and scoring the ball and stuff like that. I think people don't see that part of it, don't understand that part of it. I think that's how you get a lot of your shots off is, is from footwork. I yeah, got to- I mean, I mean, first of all, it's just a lot of, like, film study. You got to – because, you know, I watch Kobe and Harden. So, mm-hmm. you know, the main part of their game is footwork. Mm-hmm. So you got to, like, watch it and then you got to practice it. Because when I was up at Oak Hill, uh, I used to practice uh, – crazy turnaround jumpers, mm-hmm. a lot of crazy fadeaways, like after practice or even during practice, we would like run up and down. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, like Coach Smith, he gave me the um the freedom to shoot those kind of shots. Mm-hmm. You see me working on them. So, I mean, you just got to have confidence and work on anything. Mm-hmm. It, just, it means just a lot of film study. You got to like know what you want to do. You got to like practice it, practice it, practice it, practice it. Do you think that's what makes you confident in what you do? How hard you work, your work ethic? I know about it. I'm yeah. gonna t- but I don't know if the people know how hard you go. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if they realize how hard you go. Like I said, we went to Oak Hill on a visit to talk to Coach Smith, to talk to his staff, just to fill it out, to see the dorm and all that. Mm-hmm. And uh, you went into all out. Like, the picture I posted up here was right after. Yeah. I was I that. It, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I'm like, I don't, like, people don't really understand. Like, he went up there, put on a full fledged work- workout for these folks, and they didn't ask. <laughs> you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, you got to. <laughs> I mean, I just learned to, like, fall in love with the work. Mm. You know, you got to fall in love with playing Ooh. basketball and training. Break that down. That's a hip-hop. That's a quotable right there. Fall yeah. in love with the work. Go ahead. I didn't mean to cut you. No, nah, you're good. You just got to fall in love with the work because, I mean, the more you work, you, and, and, like, the more you work and the more results you get out, you're going to maybe want to work even harder with that. So you just got to fall in love with it. You can't, like, I know some days you're going to feel like you don't want to do it, mm-hmm. but you got to do it anyway because, you know, if you do it that day, you somebody else didn't do it, so you gonna be better than that person. So Word. I mean, you just gotta keep working, and it's gonna pay off eventually. That reverse, uh, that reverse pivot into that jump shot is that's what Mac talking about. That oh shot. oh, that I is a you, coach. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, that that reverse pivot back out into that into that uh, into that J, and then your elevation and your lift off that joint is like incredible. You know? What oh I'm yeah yeah. That's one of my favorite moves that I see you do. Is when mm-hmm. you get that joint, like sort of like uh, it's sort of like Kobe, like you like in in that mid post or mm-hmm. that post area, and you reverse out of that joint. I don't think people are, is ready for it, even on the elite level, like that you play on. Nah, I don't think they they used to guys with that type of footwork that that that's able to do those type of things there. So that that's pretty incredible there. You know what I mean? Yeah, me. What do you think of um, your body now since you went to Oak Hill? With Coach B Mac, yeah. Um, I forgot your other coach, the other strength and conditioning coach. Um, B Rock, T Bone, and Coach Dion. And yeah. So yeah, I'm those are all our assistants. I'm um right now. I'm at um two hundred, two hundred on the dot. What? Yeah. <laughs> Damn, that's good. Yeah, I've just been working, eating, and lifting, lifting every not every morning, but Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. Word, two hundred. Oh yeah, yeah. You, you ready for the SEC? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> you ready Gotta for- be. Gotta be. Damn, that's that's pretty dope. So, yeah. um, just jumping around a little bit. What what do you think one of your high points of AU was since you've been playing? You've been with us since for four. You was with us for four years. Yeah. Hey, I'm not sure what you did previously. I see some pictures of you when you was little playing. Mm-hmm. With, I think it was through. Was it? No, it was a. It was a. Was it an Under Armour team? 
Did you play with Thrill? Yeah, I played with like Baltimore's finest, and then I played with Loaded a little bit when I was real younger. You so, were yeah. real young, yeah. Yeah. What do you think? What are your highest points of of playing AAU has been for you over those four years? I only count like from to me personally. I think AAU gets serious, serious around eighth grade. But like elite guys like yourself, you go straight to seventeens as a or sixteens as a freshman. So, what mm -hmm. do you think? A point. So, what your your most high point was it as AAU played? I probably say my two highest points is, of course, uh, leading the uh, EYBL and Peace Jam and scoring this year and making the Final Four at Peace Jam, mm. and then uh, the whole Peace Jam when I was on the 16th as a ninth grader. So yeah, I probably say those are my two highest points at AAU that I really like. Those are on real. the show. Yo, you ever look at that old film from when you played 16? How small you was? Yeah. Uh, what's his name? Tony. <laughs> yeah, Tony sent it to me. Uh, yeah, Tony sent it to me when we played um The Truth. He sent me that um to send me the video that again. I used I watch it in there. Dog. Oh, you've been involved in two of my best games I ever coached at AAU. I just thought mm -hmm. about that. <laughs> Word. I just thought about that. Cause that game uh -huh. was ridiculous. I'm trying to think, did we go to OT that game? I know you could you Yeah, yeah, we did. We, we did go back. Right? Yeah, we, we came back, back. yeah. Put it it's on it. That mm -hmm. game it was a lot of chitter chatter in the stands. Mm -hmm. you know? Yo, people don't understand like the stories that I be having. Like I think people probably think I'm lying. Like Paul right. Pitt downstairs took pictures with the team. It told mm -hmm. us never forty in a in a um, in a high school event, and that's from the NBA. Uh, is Paul Pitt a Hall of Famer? Probably, and I know he's yeah. a he's really an All Star. Super. Uh, uh -huh. He got a ring and all of that. He was crazy at Kansas. He told us out his mouth. He never did 40 ball in a high school like AAU event. And he was like super crazy. I got a picture with Jalen Green is guarding you. And he's in the background with his mouth wide open. Like, you know, <laughs> I'm like, oh, he must have just went crazy a play or two before that or something. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah, that game was crazy because uh, what most people don't know is that uh, Coach Chiz like, came to me and was like, we needed a win. So, because, mm -hmm. you know, we was on, because it was us and them. Like, whoever won went to the final, like, the Elite Eight. Mm -hmm. that year. Mm -hmm. So he was like, we needed like we needed a win. So I was like, so I mean, so of course I know what that means. It's yeah. on the show. Yeah. So that's why so that's why I went out there when and got um forty one. Forty one. Forty one against um <laughs> against they, the truth. They had a month too. I ain't even gonna lie. I, I, you know Yeah, that team was pretty good. I name drop sometimes, but I ain't even gonna name drop all of them. If he was there, you you know what time it was like. It was crazy. My man that works for Nike, he's a uh, Nike scout. So I had already told him about you, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. I'm, um, Irvin or whatever. But, you know, yeah. you know, the scouts like to see you themselves, so they want to see what's going on. Yeah, so. that team was good. They had, like, they had Jalen Green, somebody from Alabama that's there now, Shackleford. The team was stacked. Yeah. The Mexican kid that's uh, like UCLA. Oh, yeah, yeah, UCLA, yeah. You know? They had the big boy that was uh, – Yeah. Was, I think he played football now in college. Uh -huh. but, but um, I told Dane, I was telling Dane about you. I was like, he a freshman, he's small, but he's crazy. Trust me. Uh -huh. so, so they want to see it for themselves or whatever. So it was just so perfect, you know what I'm saying, that that's the game that he chose to come to. You know what yeah. I'm saying? <laughs> and then at the end of the game, he was like, yo, I need his information. I need his mother information. We got to put him on a scouting board. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? That game was right before the 17U uh, session started at PC. Uh -huh. So everybody started walking in Oregon, you know, Carolina, Duke, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Uh, all the coaches started walking in. I was like, oh, yeah, this is like the best time to put on the type, that type of show because uh, everybody's coming in now because of the 17 U's was right after that. Yeah. And then so that was probably one of my best favorite games as a coach. And then last year, AOT. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now that was ridiculous. <laughs> AOT in the Elite Eight. Now that, now that again. Now that game might have been the most like that's the craziest, littest. craziest environment I've ever been a part of. What did you what y'all say down the litty the littest? That's the littest. Yeah, game. the most littest game I've been a part of. Now I ain't gonna lie. No, uh, so we had Cam Thomas on the floor, Zion Harmon on the floor, mm -hmm. Williams on the floor, Sharif Cooper on the floor, Brandon Boston on the floor. Mm -hmm. I'm your old teammate. Um, Dylan was on the Dylan, floor. Dylan, yeah. Dylan probably was top 52, I, 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 I assume. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. 
much action. I think the joint, I think we ended up scoring, I think I think it was like 90-something to something, like 90. Yeah, it was, I think we went over. It was like a two-point win. Uh-huh. A little floater. I thought Sharif was going to get all the way to the bucket. For real, I think he shot it too soon. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but that game there, you know what I mean, it was just a lot of emotions. I think that year was like one of my uh, favorite years for you, period, like was watching you play. Mm-hmm. Because I think you started showing a little bit more emotion on the floor. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. the, you started talking a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think before yeah, yeah. you didn't really do a lot of uh, a lot of chatter too much. Yeah. But you started talking a little bit more. Yeah, know? it just depends. Because, I mean, <laughs> that game, because we played them in um, Dallas. Dallas. And they and they beat us because uh, cause they, like, did some defense. I think it was like. like they cheated. Yeah, it was like a, I don't know I don't know what that defense was against me. It was like a matchup zone. Mm-hmm. They were like follow me all over. So I but they didn't come out the lane. Yeah, they didn't come out the lane. And yeah, be able to sit in the lane on defense, so they stayed in it the whole time. Even yeah, the UIBL um, Jamal them came over there and they knew you know so they they ran a defense that you're not allowed to play. Yeah, so I was like you know it is what it is, but I know yeah, so I won't yeah like I won't even used to it. So then, like when we played them, and uh, PJ, I was determined to uh, to get twenty five and above, and I had twenty six. I think yeah, twenty six. I think you and Zion had about that much. Yeah, no bull, because I think both of y'all illegal defense. That's what. That, yeah, that's why they illegal defense. Yeah, because what's his name? Dylan was just sending the paint. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. And I that game in Dallas, I think Sharif and Brandon Boston played really well. Oh yeah, no, they went crazy that game. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they won't miss him. They really won't miss him. At all. But I think <laughs> uh, at Peach, you and Zion had a good game. And they both still had decent games. But I think Mark stepped up and played well. We had some. Yeah, yeah Mark played uh, the best game I seen him play. Yes. And, you know, and then, uh, what's his name? Amino hit the two biggest threes I've ever seen him shoot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Word. It was like, I was like, damn, any yeah, hit. Yeah, I was like, that was just a good all-around team game. Everybody yeah. stepped up and contributed. People off the bench. Uh, mm-hmm. Clarence came in, gave us some great minutes. Yeah. Uh, Allen, Allen came mm-hmm. in, gave us some good I, minutes. Well, at the end of the game, so you know he was playing well. If he was yeah. Playing, <laughs> you know. So you yeah. Right. Oh, yeah, that's right. Allen did hit a three, yeah. Yeah, he got the last rebound at the end of the game. He was on the court in overtime. Yeah, he had a big-ass three. Mm-hmm. So he was for um, – and uh, in overtime, so you know he played good. Ain't one no, you know, boo won't gonna have you out, have him out there. Oh no, nah. <laughs> you already know what time that. Is. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's that, that's crazy. So some people been uh, hitting me up. They want to talk about uh, McDonald's. I was gonna talk about it a little bit, but I ain't want to. Me and you already talked about it a lot. We did an interview with somebody else about McDonald's. Mm-hmm. And I don't know, you know, it's the same thing. You know, what I'm saying that I, I'm, I'm sure you don't heard that question too many times. Or whatever, but it comes. I know it comes with being a, a five star athlete. People want to yeah. ask you stuff <laughs> over again. So mm-hmm. with the McDonald's, I was real vocal about it already. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Ram, um, in the basketball world that I knew, in the people that I knew already. Uh, mm-hmm. My biggest thing with McDonald's was just uh, to me. Uh, you know, you you check all, you met all the, you know, what I'm saying all the checkpoints that you mm-hmm. supposed. To. You use the best player at your position. Uh, you was the best player at one of the best high school uh, programs ever. Um, all-time leader scorer at that school. The EYBL that that we put such a big emphasis on. and that Yeah. Everybody puts it. You was the best offensive player in the EYBL. So, to me, it was a no-brainer. It's weird that it didn't happen. You know what I mean? Like, shout-out to all the guys that made it because I know some other guys that did make it. And that's a, it's a great accomplishment. That's why people get so excited because it's a great accomplishment. And it's probably something that you guys work hard to get. So, you know, with not making it, I know I, I already know what ha- you know how you felt about it, but how 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 do how was you able just to say, you know what, it is what it is, and then you just moved on from it? How 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 was you able to do that so easily? Uh well really just um, you know, talking to my mom right after, because we did like a little shoot around. Mm-hmm. But I, I didn't do the shoot around because, um, you know, that was tough. Mm-hmm. So, like, I just went back to the dorm, got my mind right. And then we, because um, mm-hmm. we had like a game, two games yeah. the very next day, like the next day and then the next day. So, mm-hmm. like, 
So, like, you know, I was talking to my mom. She was like, don't worry about it. We got more games. That's nothing. And everybody's texting me, like, don't even worry about that. It doesn't really mm -hmm. mean anything. It doesn't, de doesn't define you. So I was like, I mean, it is what it is. Because I already had in my mind what I was going to do. Right. So, like, the next game, we played some team. I could have had 50 that game, but Coach Smith took me out. So I thought you had 51 that game. No, nah, um, nah, the game, like, the game the next day, I had 51. Oh, I had 51. So, yeah, I had, like, I had, like, 30. Three on the dot that game. He took me. I could have had 40 again in that game. 40 or 50. Oh, early, too. Uh-huh. Really? So, um, so, yeah, I was like, all right. So, then the next game, I came out. Um, I couldn't miss. Like, like everything I put was going in. They was double teaming, triple teaming, face guarding. Like, it's – I was just hot that game. So, mm -hmm. I mean, it was just in my mind I had to go out there and – Show them why they show them why they made the wrong choice of not putting me in the game. So you 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 know a little bit about the girls program. So we, what you was thinking about when you heard Diamond didn't make it too? Oh, uh, I mean that's crazy because like because <laughs> I, I mean she was like wait wait she like top ten. She was sixth in the country. Sixth oh. in the country, yeah. So I was like, nah, nah, that's absurd. Now me, I'm like, uh, I did the same thing you did. She led the EYBL girls to score. Nah, when I seen like well, when I seen like her ranking, they said she was like six in the country. I was like, how did she not make it? If anything, yeah. If you got twenty four slots and you number six, <laughs> <laughs> like you know how you number six overall, it was weird. Mm -hmm. It was with Boo that day. Um, when it came out, his phone was going crazy. Yeah, calling, going crazy, and I already knew how you were. Um, uh, how you and um Leslie, you and your mom was going to approach it anyway. Your business, yeah. Is and then What's on, it? yeah, and then, um, cause Coach Smith called me to his office and he was like, uh, cause you know, he's all in it. They be talking to him, you know, legendary Coach Smith. So they was like, um, so he was like, he heard that I got the, um, I got the shaft for the, um, McDonald's. I was like, what? And then he was like, they put in some other people. I don't even know. Some people mm -hmm. in over me. So I was like, man, I mean, it's crazy. On the different positions and all that. I'm yeah. Like, so I was like, dang. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. I was like, he wasn't a shooting guard all year long. So <laughs> I'm Earl, he's going to be a shooting guard now all of a sudden. Yeah, Coach Smith definitely be knowing early. You know and what then I'm saying? he, um, yeah, but like, what really made me, like, uh, respect Coach Smith and, like, have mm -hmm. love for, like, extra love for Coach Smith was when he, like, went on Twitter and defended me. I got you know, I ain't never seen him do that. What? <laughs> I like, like, because I never seen him get, like, that, that animated on Twitter. Me about um, anything. So I was like, that's what really made me, like, respect Coach Smith even more and have love for Coach Smith. He went, he went to bat for you. Yeah. Like, 110%. Mm -hmm. I was, um, you know, not shocked that he did it, you know what I'm saying, because of, you know, a coach of his stature. He's been around for, you know. Yeah, that's how, that's how I was like, wow, like, for him to do that, that's crazy. And all the guys that he's coached and all that mm -hmm. stuff. So it was it was weird when I, when I seen that. So I was like, it is what it is. I already knew. It was gonna, it was gonna, you know, hurt you a little bit, you know, because it was a goal that you had, you know what I mean, and you wanted that. But I knew you was gonna say, forget about it and go on and keep playing. Yeah, like but that. like during the year, well, I mean, what? Because I don't really tell people anything. Like what? I probably me and my mom probably knew. But like the crazy thing is that if I made a McDonald's game, I mean, of course I was gonna be happy. But if I didn't make it, I was like, oh well, because because like when I kept like looking back at it, I was like, I don't even want that to be a goal of mine because that's just gonna like that's not even like a major goal for me anymore so i was like forget it so mm -hmm. i just like turned that to like not being a major goal for me anymore i just right. changed that up so yeah yeah you kind of start feeling how things is going a bit. so that, yeah. that is, like i said i mean people started because i started going crazy on twitter and then i started retweeting coach smith stuff so um people started sending me all these stats about how um like a lot of the guys who made McDonald's don't even make it to the league and this, this, and that. I'm like, yeah, I get it. Mm -hmm. it, it. It is what it is. He should have been there. So I just had to get yeah, right. funky in the room. I got some DMs about that question. So I know people wanted, wanted to ask. I don't know why, but I I know you've been asked that 20 times already. So I thought everybody should know, you know what I'm saying, how you felt about that. So, mm -hmm. so on next year, we we in Baton Rouge. Baton Rouge. Your mom, you told me you was already taking classes. Yeah, I got a uh, online class. I, it's called EDCI. Mm. I got it on Tuesdays and Thursdays Zoom class. Word. 
<laughs> they are on it, on it. Because, mm-hmm. like, because I was up there for, like, a little bit. And mm-hmm. then, like, our academic advisor for the team, we got two of them. One of them for our team was, like, we have a class for it. And I was, like, what? <laughs> I was, man, it caught me off guard. I was, like, class? I was, like, man, I just mm-hmm. got done with school. I ain't trying to do no more work. Right. So, yeah, we started that. I got it every Tuesday and Thursday till I go back up there. Of course, we go back up there in a week, week or two. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Y'all do, man, that's crazy. I was like, you tell me you had a class already. I was like, mm-hmm. <laughs> no games at all. So with LSU, I know Will Wade. I met Will Wade a few times. <laughs> and Will Wade is a wild boy. Like, he's really- Yeah, I love, I love <laughs> Will. I love Coach Wade. He's still, he's real animated. Like mm, That's my guy. When, when you took LSU, because it didn't surprise me, because I think he recruited you when he was still at VCU. You know nah, he, uh, nah, that's crazy, because I didn't know he was at VCU. I didn't know who oh. was, I didn't know who he was. I didn't know none of them. Mm-hmm. So, like, he offered me right after our first session, because mm-hmm. I think he was at our game. We played the Rotary. Mm-hmm. He offered me right after that. So, uh, and then, you know, the rest of his history, he, con- he talked to my mom every day from yeah. that point on. Yeah. <laughs> he talked he talk to my mom every day. You know, he'll text me here and there, but I'm not really worried about you texting me because mm-hmm. I don't really want to talk on the phone, so don't talk to me. You got to yeah. talk to her. So, like, he called my mom every day, text her. So that was, like, that was a big reason why I went there. Well, we went to, uh, we came to North Carolina to watch y'all play, uh, me, Chiz, and your mom. Mm-hmm. So when we went there, uh, we was talking about some stuff. We was talking about schools or whatever. And another school had, 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 was recruiting you, but they slowed down the recruiting or whatever. Mm-hmm. And it was so funny, you know what I'm saying? We in the game watching you play, and they called her phone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> they are, they are out That's how it be. Yeah, I said, they are out back now. She's like, exactly. look at this. You know what I'm saying? I was like, oh, wow. Yeah, because yeah, cause the crazy part is, like, I had, like, a lot of schools in mind, like, because for real, for my final schools was, like, NC State, UConn, um, Oregon, mm-hmm. UCLA, and, LS, and LSU. But uh, the first three, you know, they, like, you know, slowed up a little bit. So then it was just between UCLA and LSU. And I didn't know I was going to go to LSU, like, commit that early there. Mm-hmm. Until, like, until, like, something hit me that day. I was like, all right, this is probably the best option for me that's mm-hmm. option for me because in like study hall i'll be on like youtube watching like their styles of play see what fit me because you know i gotta do some research myself right because you know because like, you know i'm out there playing so mm-hmm. so yeah but, i was like all right, i like i like lsu style of play yeah he played the way you like to play and I, uh-huh. you know, his guards kind of get busy a little bit too. yeah <laughs> he let his guards get busy so i, I kind of mm-hmm. yeah, camera like that but UCLA, like, I, and it's so crazy when I talk to your moms, they was really in the mix at one point. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> nah, like, for real, for real, I was, like, this close from committing there. I was, like, I was, like, a month from committing there. I was gonna, I was going to commit there over LSU. Because, mm. because, because, cause, you know, because my mom loved, she loved UCLA. I don't know why, she just loved it. She loved UCLA. Yeah. I had no idea that she loved it that much. She mm-hmm. told me, um, she told me like she loved it, yeah. Like she loved it, but I was like, I was like, nah, I like LSU a little more. I like LSU, mm-hmm. but I was like, I like, I like UCLA too, cause Cali, you're on the yeah. stage, yeah. Yes. So I mean, I she loved it, but I liked it. I mean, mm-hmm. I would have went there, cause I mean, yeah. can't pass that up. Yeah, she Leslie like really loved LSU, and I mean um, UCLA. And then she told me she used to like Gonzaga too. I was like, oh yeah, <laughs> I didn't even think about Gonzaga at all. Yeah, like, she loved Gonzaga. She's like, they just play the right way, Barry. <laughs> <laughs> she, she loves him. What's his, yeah. what's his face? Hachimura, she loves him. <laughs> yeah, she was telling me that. I was like, oh, Leslie's a student, too. Mm-hmm. So, um, a basketball mom. Yeah, she's... she really like. She really got into watching it this past year because, you know, I'm about to be there. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, I'm about to do college, so she'll watch a lot of college. So she started watching a lot of college. So, like, she just loved Gonzaga for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> Told me that one when she told me Gonzaga, I thought she was gonna tell me like the ones that I already kind of knew about the Oregon, mm-hmm. LSU, UCLA, but then she was like, Barry, I like Gonzaga. I said, mm-hmm. <laughs> You know what I mean? I said, like, He could probably go out there and go crazy too. Yeah, 
they're going to get the right players to basketball. Who's supposed to have the basketball? Yeah. Player? score the ball but that was a weird one to me when i heard when she told me she liked that so what you think you're looking forward to when you go to college what's the biggest thing that you're looking forward to down there hooping <laughs> just hooping i mean you know watching it on tv for so many years and you're gonna be up there playing no, so, you just want, you, so you just want to be out there so that's what i'm mainly excited for hooping and then you're going, on tv uh, that's a Power Five conference. It's going, you know, what I'm saying, like, yeah, uh, all of our games are going to be televised, kind of SEC Network, ESPN. So, yeah. The football program is huge. Mm -hmm. Football program is huge, so it's going to be a lot, you know, what I'm saying, going on down there. You're going to be able to see a lot of good football games. I, I'm mm. coming. I want to see what the uh, that facility look like down that joint. I know it's probably crazy. Yeah. Your visit when you sent me the pictures from the visit, yeah, I was like, damn, how the hell you got a. Uh, pictures with his jersey number already mm -hmm. <laughs> and they told me what was going on so at first i was scared to post them because i didn't know if it was going to be a violation or something mm -hmm. now nah, because some dude i was there his last name we had the same last name mm -hmm. and he had my number so yeah that worked out. So i was like <laughs> you know what i'm saying when i got the joint, so i was like i don't even know so i, I hit chiz and i think i hit mac too because i those like my uh my legal guys when i don't know what's going on for sure i, I hit them up to see if it's legal for me to post with it Mm -hmm. yeah, so I think me and Leslie even talked about it. Yeah. So it was. So like, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to Oak Hill a little bit. When you first got up there, I mean, cause you kind of like into by you know, uh, kind of like like to be by yourself a little bit of stuff like that. Anyway, so Oak Hill was it really a, a huge adjustment for you to do? No, nah, honest, no, nah, not really. Cause I mean, I knew I was up there. I was up there to hoop. Mm -hmm. I wasn't really up there doing anything else. And I'm confident in me hooping against anybody. Yeah. For real, for real. So me hooping was really, like, what made me, like, get over, like, being homesick and stuff. Because, you know, the first month when you're up there, it's tough. Because, you know, you ain't going nowhere, you know, games. Mm -mm. Can't go home. So the first month up there for anybody is going to be tough. Especially you not, especially if that's your first year there. Mm -hmm. So, like, that was tough for me. Like, I started being, like, a little anti-social, well, a little more anti-social than I'm already am. Mm. A little bit more. So I mean, then you did two years up there too. Uh huh. Like this year, I was I already knew the deal was smooth sailing because I, mm. I already knew what was going on. I was one of the um one of the veterans, so right. I knew what was going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you already kind of knew how to get yourself or get acquainted to. It, it take you hard to get acquainted to it when you got mm -hmm. up there. That's when you first get up there, cause the the Wi-Fi is probably terrible. Oh yeah, <laughs> woods for real. You know? No, that's that's different. That's bad Wi-Fi. You know when they was telling me about the imaginary line between the size of the school. Oh yeah, a real rule too. Like this ain't the first time I heard that story. I was like, oh, that's a real rule. Like, oh uh, yeah, that's a real rule. It's like an imaginary line. You do not cross that line. Word. Yeah. That's crazy yo. That is really crazy. You know what I'm saying? So when you got to turn the gym to the gymnasium, because, you know, it's like a legendary gymnasium or whatever, and uh, one of your first nights up there, like, going crazy, how did that feel? Because the Oak Hill fans, the gym is really small. Like, it's like a Peach Jam environment. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So we see all those people come up there, because I think, like, their games are, like, the highlight of the night or whatever, Oak Hill. So when you saw those people going crazy for you, you know what I'm saying, they already knew. <laughs> You know, how did that feel, like, up there at that, such a legendary school like that? <laughs> I mean, I didn't know, like, that was, like, the only thing that they look like. Because, like, some people told my mom, like, this is the only thing they look forward to, <laughs> go kill games. So, for it to be, like, the gym that's small for, like, a lot of the, like, people who live around there come out and support us, that's big. Mm -hmm. so, I didn't, like, expect them to be, like, go kill fanatics. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, so, yeah, I know they fanatics up there because I seen it with my own eyes. I was like, these people really come to the game they in here. I don't even know if people are paying. I, I see a lady at the door, but I don't know if she's taking money from people or not. I think people, <laughs> just, I think people just walking right past her. I'm like, I don't know what's going on. Yeah. Uh, I think when you went up there, uh, that was the first time I went up there to a game. Like, I went to go see Matt play when he was on the road. Mm -hmm. Kelton and Keontae, they played, like, on the road, like, when we came to Carolina. But when mm -hmm. you went my first time we're like going to Oak Hill and going to the gym and seeing it and all the yeah. all the jerseys on the wall and stuff like that. So that was kinda dope. I was like, Oh, this is real dope. And I'm sure you're ready to get your uh your college joint put up there too. Do they retire high school jerseys up there? Do they? Oh no. I oh. don't know. 
No, you, I mean, record books forever, so it don't matter if they, if they retire your jersey or not. We know that's that's there forever. No, nah, they gonna. Um, I think I think they're gonna put my name. Where they are, they're gonna put my name on. You know the little wall where they put all the <laughs> names up there. Mm -hmm. yeah, they say gonna put my name up there. So. So like last year, your last year playing high school ball, you know what I'm saying? I think they had you ranked. Uh, I think I don't know if it was number three or number four at the shooting guard, which is kind of crazy to me still. But yeah, you know, four. Out of a million kids playing basketball, when you look at it at the big picture, it's like a million kids playing basketball in the state. So it's an amazing accomplishment. So uh, how did you take that? Because being ranked that high, you know what I mean? And everybody knows, like, every, especially last year, your senior year, mm -hmm. the road, everybody knew because you was averaging 30. So everybody knew that you was the guy. You know what I mean? I think your junior year, you snuck up on people. So how, how mm -hmm. was it like, being game plan for the way that you? You know, on that level that you played at, at Oak Hill and in the EYBL, being game plan for is a little different than playing, like, public school basketball. Mm -hmm. did, how did that make you prepare yourself? Did that make you prepare harder because you knew people were game planning to either possibly try to slow you down? Because, they, I mean, I don't think they thought it was going to stop you, but mm -hmm. trying to slow you down. Did that help you, like, prepare harder? Mm, no, not really, because when I was younger, I seemed like, Every defense you can name. So, I yeah. mean, I'm, like, used to any defense you can throw at me. So, mm -hmm. I mean, it was just, you know, you got to adjust because, you know, you can't come out just firing. Unless you're hot, I mean, you can come out firing, but you got to let it come to you. Like, this year, this was the first year I seen a boxing one in, like, two, three years. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. somebody actually played a boxing one this year. And I still had uh, – I, I forgot what Coach Smith said. I still had 36, 38. One, yeah, on the box and one. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, honestly, for real, for real, just the mindset. You can't go out there and let anybody stop you. And, right. I, and me personally, I'm not gonna let nobody stop me because then they're gonna try to have something to talk about. Right, right. Yeah, I ain't let nobody stop. Me. And that's Coach Coach Bailey. She just tapped in. That's one. That's like one of my producers on the background. She helped me out with questions and stuff. Somebody okay. said he's a Khaled. I get that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I get that a lot. I ain't gonna say I like it, but I I do hear that. I, I hear that quite often. I, that. I do hear that a lot. I just yo, I just seen all them comments. I think you might have seen them already. I just seen mm. them now, but um, that's funny when I saw that. So uh, game planning against you that don't bother you. You used to it. You ready to go? Uh -huh. Right now, I saw you know you had a. Um, an article or like a, a, a interview. Uh, how you how you keeping it together during COVID? Not being able to, you know. Well, I, I mean, I see that you still getting your workout on and stuff like that. Uh, mm -hmm. how, how, did, how did COVID affect? You? I know it ended your high school season. Yeah, that's probably the only thing. That's the, probably the only thing he uh, COVID affected. You know, just couldn't finish our last term in New York. So yeah, that's probably the only thing. But as far as working out and stuff, nah. Because I mean. You know, I'm going um going to the SEC. I'm going to be um starting shooting guard, so I gotta um be ready. Yeah, I, I, so yeah, I had to find every little way to uh, get some type of work in. Yeah, to get better. Yeah, cause uh I was coming up. I wanted to see you in the in the in the uh, what is it Geico now? I wanted to see you in the Geico too to see how y'all. Uh -huh. Cause I know um one of the teams that y'all beat out Hawaii. I think they was in it. Watch it Yeah, uh, Wasatch. Wasatch or something like that. I always. Uh -huh. I wanted to see y'all um, in that for sure because I was yeah. a dope event. I never went up there for that. I, I, oh yeah, I, you didn't because I thought no, nah, you didn't go up there last year. Mm -mm, I didn't go last year. I, I wanted to, and I couldn't make it last year. My job was was acting crazy. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying so I couldn't make it up there, but I wanted to go there this year definitely to, to see you up there in that in that environment because that joint is a uh, it's one pretty much one game elimination. So yeah, yeah, I can't, yeah, that's actually crazy. That's actually. For like a high school setting, that's probably the craziest high school thing I've ever been a part of. Word. And then it's on and then it's on ESPN, so you know, in that um gym, Christ the King, mm -hmm. big gym, a lot of people think, looking. Um you think it's bigger than um uh the turn up in um Hoop Hall? Because Hoop Hall is like on uh ESPN. You might play somebody crazy. <laughs> like I mean I, I guess think, uh Crazy people in both of them. I probably say, Hoopaw probably has like the best, like the more historic thing. 
Mm -hmm. But as far as like competitive, like mm -hmm. for like the stakes that high, I probably say the Geico National because this is one game elimination. Yeah, you lose, you lose, you done for the um, you done for the week. You done, so, yeah. yeah. And then y'all went out to uh, y'all wanted to join out in um, in the Midwest. I think y'all beat Paul. Yeah, to yeah, Missouri. That was crazy. Like I was watching that game. I know some kids that play for Paul the Six or whatever. Yeah, I was, that game would have been closer, so I could have went to because I want. Yeah, cause like it's a lot. They have some. They got some good players on that team. You know? Yeah, of course y'all did already. I already knew about you, so uh, I wanted to see that. Like I wanted to see that heads up. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to see if maybe if y'all was gonna uh, have to play Amino and them. I think they got beat though. Yeah, they got beat by um, Paul the Six. Paul the Six beat them, didn't they? I think Amino yeah. hit them for like 35 and 17 rebounds. Yeah, cause, <laughs> cause yeah, cause they play like right after us. So, mm. so like we. Like me and my mom, we stayed to look at like five, ten minutes of it, and we had to get out of there because you know we had a game. The next oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. But yeah, the part of six game was a lot of hype. They had uh my uh, my young that plays there, Trevor. I'm real cool with him. And then, uh, you know, Jeremy Roach was back then, right? Then Jeremy Roach play. Uh huh. Yeah. So I was like, I know a lot of people was talking about that game. You know, you're a Duke kid and all that. Mm hmm. So I was just like, you know, me, I'm I'm always been on my guys. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> it is what it is, like no other way. Yeah, so I was like, we're gonna win. Like, what mm -hmm. do you, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And like, like coming in, I had a feeling we was gonna win because we had a great game. Like, we just defended, and then we played well as a team that game. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you I, I kind of had a feeling we was gonna win. Oh, uh, the big kid played pretty good that game. Um, I know you're talking about. Yeah, the tall, mm -hmm. not the not the one that was supposed to go to LSU. Which I know you're talking about. Yeah, he played. Mm -hmm. pretty I think he hurt. I think he hurt pretty good because they wanted to expect him to be able to. He bored it in block shots and all that. Yeah. And let me see. What do you think? Like, I already know this answer too, for real, for real. Who who's your who's your biggest basketball influence? Uh, like far as me, like player loving right? the game. Like far as me loving the game and like wanting to be exactly like him, Kobe. Mm -hmm. But I probably, probably say like. Probably say myself for like getting into basketball, actually loving it. But Kobe made me like love it, love it. Like, he made me like want to actually play. Mm -hmm. So yeah, Kobe. And the dynamic with you and um, Leslie is like no, like no other dynamic. Like she's like really like yeah, uh, in the gym working out with you. She in the gym, mm -hmm. like you know what I'm saying. Like she, yeah, she in the yeah, she in the getting the rebounds. I mean, it's not like she got to move much, but still, she had to get the rebounds. Yeah, like so, she uh, played a major role into your, uh, just into your life. Period. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Shanice, I met Shanice for the first time, like personally, probably like a year or two ago. Mm -hmm. I was like, why? Oh, she go, she go for her little bro. <laughs> <laughs> the loudest one. She used to always go to my games when I was younger. It'd be her, mm -hmm. my mom, and me. She's mm -hmm. always go to my games, but you know, you get older, yeah. you start working. Now she got a um kid, so. But I seen her. I think I met her your uh, sophomore year because she was at the uh, she was at the game we lost to uh, Nike Team Florida that put us out. Geo mm -hmm. laughed. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> 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 I love it. I love it. I love yeah, it. Yeah, she goes crazy. Kind of <laughs> but now uh, Leslie, people, it's so funny though. Like, I think people just listen to uh, listen to. Her. She she. She's in there yelling at you more than she's yelling at anybody else. Mm-hmm. Yelling at you for not doing something that you ain't that you mm -hmm. ain't. Always. And it could be the most littlest thing. She yelling at me and sound like you mean, like, sound like sometimes it gets sometimes it gets on my nerves at the same time, I'm like, all right, it's, mm -hmm. it is what it is. Mm -hmm. I'm the one guy she got at you. Cameron, that's your box out, Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, any little thing. She's <laughs> you know, she says she wants me to um stay humble and keep working. You know, nah. can't like can't like I play per a perfect game. It's always something to work on. No, nah, you do that. I think you stay humble. You you're a real humble player for the, the accolades that you have, the things that you've accomplished on the floor, the things that you're going to accomplish on the floor. You know what I'm saying? You're you're a real humble guy. I just think that's just uh, the <laughs> type of word. He talk about he loves sitting with her. <laughs> Back that with your mom in Atlanta, yo. I was. Uh. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, he sat with her. I don't even know he meant to the first time. But after he sat with her that game, he's like, oh, I got to sit with her every game. I got to sit with her every game. 
right. she be into it. You can't. Yeah. You better not say nothing to it. While she look at the gang, she gonna go off. Yo, I went the when y'all played Trinity. You know what I'm saying? I didn't mm -hmm. know. I know her like now. You know what I'm saying? So y'all were playing, and I came up to talk to her and speak. And she was like, hey, Barry, hey, Barry. All right, now. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got to. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, we'll talk yes. about whatever the case may be. But, yo, she, she, yo, Max sat with your mother. Um, I think Sean Harmon was sitting over there with them a couple of times. I'm like, yo, you, uh, I salute you for sitting with all of them all at one time. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this team was, was wild. It was fun. It was a funny team. It was a very, very, very good team. I mm -hmm. mean, this damn championship team to be for real. Yeah, I think the things ain't fall the way they should have. So I know I didn't. I wasn't at that game because we had a game. I know you won. Did you? You didn't get the last shot off that game, did you? Nah, um, Zion <laughs> shot the last shot. Last one. I know. I was like, damn, you I know he wanted to take the last shot of that joint because you didn't even shot against AOT as our best player. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I was to get the last shot somehow. Nah, uh, I, I hit the uh, floater to. Mm -hmm. the, um, on the base. game, I think, or put us down one, and then Mark got the alley from Zion to put mm -hmm. us up. So yeah, you hit the um the floater on the baseline. Yeah, yeah, I, I remember. I could I could recite that whole game like a song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I could recite that whole joint like a song. So, but I was just sick because we had a game that night, and I couldn't be there for that game. And that stage is huge. Like you know, mm -hmm. each jam do it for that joint. Like it's, it's incredible. Yeah. So going into that, like going into Peace Jam last year or going into EYBL season last year, because you came into it with a little, with a bullseye, pretty much. Mm -hmm. you know Did that change anything, or it just you don't even care about it for real? No, I don't even care. Mm -hmm. None of that. So yeah, you've already been there though. You've been the bullseye have been there for a long time right now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I, the dude, crazy man, told me you was crazy. Like uh, Donald told me you was crazy, crazy. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. like, Back, back, you know what I'm saying? I had to give it to him. He did tell me he was crazy first. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Coach, I got to see it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got to see it. And then I saw it. And I was like, oh, I see what he mean. <laughs> yeah, he was. Mm -hmm. but yeah, they blew the call. They called a foul on Jordan. Jordan plucked the shit out of that boy at half court. And they called a foul. We would have won. We would, that would have put us on one. I watched mm -hmm. it today. It, 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 and I couldn't believe it. You know what I'm saying? Like, so... Now, playing in a in a uh, legendary organization like you know, uh, moms do rock. Mom, you're definitely right. Moms, mm -hmm. as uh, Greg Melvin's mom. Uh -oh. but, but playing in a, in a in a legendary org like uh, like Boom Wham Summer League, did you have any like um, you know, before you started playing with us, did you really know it was that big of a deal? Cause you, just, um, I don't know if you even if you pay attention to it. I'm sure you do, but. I mean, I I mean, of course, I knew it was like a story program. Everybody, everybody knows Boo, mm -hmm. but I didn't really look at it like that. And I, I mean, because I mean, I look at me, so I'm like, mm -hmm. yeah, well, I'm like, I'm legendary. Yeah, shit, I'm, shit, I'm playing out there, so right. Yeah, because yeah, I uh, when it was going, I just was like, yo, he made me a believer. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. he made me a believer. So it was it was hard to talk. The down talk you or whatever, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Do you think playing like in the um EYBL, do you think that helped you get ready for um for uh OK? Yeah, definitely, because you know, uh it helped me get ready my junior year because I played up. Mm. Uh I played up against better players. So mm -hmm. uh, you know, those are considered like the top hundred players in the country. Most of the top one hundred players play on EYBL. So mm -hmm. many play up. Play up that year and to average twenty. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I was very confident going into kill. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, I remember we sat down in the office and uh, we started talking about starting and stuff. Right, with Steve uh -huh. so was bringing up to you. And I, I was telling somebody the story the other day, and I was like, he was telling Cam that he didn't know if he was going to start. But <laughs> yo, when I, I said when I looked, I said he didn't talk much in the in the in the, in the um, meeting or whatever. <laughs> when he said that to y'all. Look at his face. And me and Chiz, I think I almost had to walk out the room. <laughs> yeah, cause yeah, cause I was looking like, okay, if I'm not gonna start, who's gonna start over me? Cause right. I mean, let's be real, nobody, nobody's gonna start over me. That nobody on that team was better than me. I think. I, I just think people didn't know how good you was gonna yeah, be. Yeah, that's probably. Yeah, he just didn't know. He didn't mm -hmm. know. Cause what he said that joint, I was like, oh, yeah, we should have, we should have had that conversation last. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Should have been. The yeah. Last. 
But it was a good conversation though because Coach Smith was straight up. Like I, I liked it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's why. I, yeah, that's why I um, considered it, and that was my only decision. It was either OKL or OKL because I mean that was mm -hmm. the only school.